Frank's Crazy Farm Living. I'm out at the pond and it's been raining and raining and our pond's starting to fill up and I'll show you that in a second. But the water's finally come to the point where it's above the ground level where the ground was and it's starting to get to where the, the dam is. And the dam is just dirt that's piled up around the pond. And um, what we noticed is now that we're like at that level, we're starting to see some seepage come out from underneath the dam. So if you look right here, you can see that there's water coming out the backside of the dam. And uh, it's been flowing for a couple days. Um, and uh, we're gonna try to see if we can stop the seepage from occurring. And so I was doing some research and there's plenty of things that you could do before you get water in your pond. Uh, like there's a type of, uh, starts with a B, like Bennonite or something clay that you mix into the dirt and it expands. Uh, you can put lining in, you could put cement in. Uh, the soil out here is black soil. It's really like clay and Elmer's glue. When it gets wet, it just sticks to everything. And so we thought that that would probably seal up everything, but apparently there's some, there's some porous areas where we're getting this drainage right here. Again, and showing you kind of, I don't know if you could see it there, um, but it's, it's a little, a little stream. It's got some movement to it. Uh, and so we're going to see if we can fix that today. So just follow me along here. So we're going to go up the backside of the dam and, uh, we're going to try a product that I found just doing some research and looking at Amazon and the reading blogs and stuff. I found this product called damn it. <laughs> Not to be confused with a slang word, uh, this is a rapid leak sealant for earthen dams and ponds. And when it says earthen dams, what that really means is it's just a dirt dam. There's no, there's no lining on it, there's no concrete in it, it's just soil. And so what this product does is it expands to 300% of its size and you can use it when you already have water in your pond. And so we're gonna test this stuff out and see if it works. And hopefully this will work. It's kind of expensive. It's a, it's a few hundred dollars for this little bucket. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> it and, better work. And, uh, <laughs> and you just sprinkle it in and then it expands. What does and it so look like? I took the lid off and then it has this bag that has zip tie and I already took that off. And it looks like a, like a, kind of sandy Granule. mm -hmm. granular product and then it this like is salt almost it does kind of look like salt but it's not salt and so you just use a they they say just use like a regular hand spreader and so we're going to fill this up and then we're going to like slowly put it into the pond and so uh we're going to give that a go it's starting to get breezy now normally you do it when there's no wind which there was no wind for like the last hour and a half uh so we'll see how this goes you try not to get it on your face and stuff because this thing turns like to a gel. So, and then you wash your hair and you got like this like big mongo <laughs> hair going on. So uh, a couple things, safety wise, something to wipe my face off if I get too crazy sweaty, which hopefully I won't. Uh, mask, I mean, this stuff doesn't look like something I really want to breathe in. So we're gonna put this on. And uh, see if we can protect myself a little bit. So, got some glasses to cover my eyes. I have these type of gloves, and I have some black gloves. I'm gonna just try these these gloves for now. Um, I put my boots on. Yay, boots! Took my phone out. <laughs> on the, if there's an unfortunate accident and I fall into the water which hopefully will not occur. So do you put it on the pond side or on the outside of the You put the it berm? in the water. So I'm gonna walk down here and the wind's kind of blowing this way. So I'm gonna start over there. Now you could treat your whole pond, but for ours, most of the seepage is coming in from like right here on this side. And we know it's a little bit down here. So I'm gonna kind of focus in this area. This product, this product says it's better to do uh, thin layers like multiple times than it is to just throw it on heavy. So we're going to just go down there and put some in and uh, 
The results take about four to seven days. Some people say they see like super reduction in seepage in like 24 hours. So uh, what it does is when it goes into the water, it finds what's being drawn in and it gets drawn into those areas and then expands. It doesn't hurt your fish. We, we don't have any fish yet, but it doesn't hurt fish, it doesn't hurt animals, it's non toxic, it's safe to swim at or swim in uh, once it's in the water. Um, and uh, so, anyways, we're just going to give it a go. So, okay, so just as a reminder, we had some extra, or we had a little bit of a, it wouldn't, it's not a dam break, but we have seepage damn seepage for our pond and so we are using this product that is made by it looks like Shalex Industries and it's called damn it and it's supposed to help um, go into those crevices and fill in the gaps and hopefully um, stop the drainage from the pond because it's never gonna fill up if we don't get it <laughs> patched <laughs> some here we're not going to use this whole bucket of it uh, we're just going to try a little bit out and then see how that goes and uh, so this will have to be a multiple part series part one is put it in here spread it out wait and then we just see what happens and uh, hopefully it works and we don't have to use this and then as the water continues to rise higher and higher if we get more seepage areas then we can just reapply this over and over again but hopefully with just this one bucket <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna walk down here the wind's kind of blowing down this way so i'm gonna come over here i have no idea if it's soft down here or not i see like lots of dog tracks the dog likes to go here okay oh yeah it's windy <laughs> you're not supposed to do it when it's windy you have to get close to the ground This is just like blowing in because it's so light. Yeah, so this is going to be a really quick, a really quick uh, application. application. It's super soft down here. At least I'm not losing my boots in it. This stuff is just like super it's blowing on me. <laughs> Let me go to the other side. <laughs> the pond looks pretty today though. You might have to get lower to the ground. It's good squats. Gets in some exercise. And it floats away. So that was pretty quick. Um, so one of the things that I quickly learned on this is that the amount of spread that we're allowed to go through is all the way up and it won't go into a shorter. That's why it was coming out so fast. So uh, let me see what you're talking about. This is determines how fast the spread is comes out the bottom. Okay. All the way open. The trigger was not working. <laughs> so it was like flowing out. So things that you learn, check your equipment that you've owned for years and years and years, make sure it's still working. But it did spread it out a little bit. So we're just gonna see how it works. I'm gonna get back out here and probably hand spread some because this isn't too effective. How much did you add? Like two cups, a cup? What what do you I think that was? About, four cups? Uh, four cups. Okay. So, so we're going to see how that works, huh? We're going to see how it works. It's already, you can see it's kind of like covering the lawn. The wind's blowing it all this way. I don't know if you and can so, see it. Let me come out here if it's uh, if the wind stops and then apply some down on this side. Because right now it's just blowing it all to this area. Mm -hmm. And then um, today is Saturday and we're supposed to get rain on... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. Mm. So, Which is why we want to fix it now so we capture all that rainwater. Trying to, yeah, and you know, and even though it is seeping, it's seeping at a really slow rate. Uh, the water is at our posts for our dam, and it's been at the post since the last rain. So it hasn't went down enough that it's below the post, and that's only about a 
half a foot of water. That's the post level. Those are the dock posts that are yeah, back there for the, the frame. So, so that's anyways, what you're talking about. Um, we're just trying to share what's going on, challenges. So if you're building a pond and you got some leakage, seepage, there are products out there uh, that you could use, and this is one of them. So we'll give you an update soon and let you know how it goes. So uh, check back with us, and have a great day.